it's been a hot minute since we've done much as far as customer bikes, just been enjoying the summer and some family time. But today we've got a super nice Ducati Monster S2R1000 in the garage. And as you can tell from the front end of it, we're doing fork seals and bushings. I've already ripped apart the one side to familiarize myself. Uh, not too bad, you do need a specialty tool to get the job done though. So I'm going to walk you through the other side. Stay tuned. So here we have the fork leg out of the bike. Always just put it on a block of wood to prevent the bottom of it getting scratched up on the concrete. Before you take it out you'll want to initially loosen the top cap. Um, before you do that though you'll have to back the adjuster out all the way. There's also an adjuster on the bottom that we'll have to back out all the way before we take it apart to prevent damage. So yeah we'll pull off the cap and I've already backed out the adjuster so we'll pull off the cap and drain the fluid out. So here's the special tool that you need. The ring two arms they thread in and then there's this threaded rod with the proper end on it proper threaded end for your fork to use it the circle part will go on top here and those two pins will thread into either side here these holes and what you're wanting to accomplish it is much easier with two people but you will be pushing down this inner tube exposing a jam nut which is on the bottom of this top cap and you'll want to hold the jam nut and turn the top cap spin it off uh, like I said it's kind of easier with two people another piece to this special tool that makes it easier with one person is this a little um, I don't know whatever you want to call it but it actually works once you pull or push the tube down you'll be able to slide this underneath the jam nut and it'll hold that tube down because you're forcing it down against the pressure of the spring so I'll do that and then I'll show you a picture or a shot here of what it all looks like. It'll make more sense. The contraption I was referring to. Ratchet straps, you can kind of ignore them. I needed a little assistance because I was by myself pushing it down and holding all the pieces together. So we've got this collar piece threaded into the holes just enough and then you push this down holding this part all the way up and there's that jam nut that we expose. You'll just slip this underneath, which holds it all down. Uh, there is quite a bit of force in that spring, so be careful. And then we'll just get a wrench on the jam nut and the top cap here. Uh, and uh, we'll spin the top cap off. And then once we've done that, it's just a matter of releasing the tension, pulling this stop out and then uh, we can proceed to the undoing the bottom of the fork. Okay we have the top cap off and the internals come out in the following order. It goes top clamp, metal washer, plastic washer and then there's the big spacer for the spring this part down at the bottom. Don't get confused. There's holes at the top of the spacer and the bottom of the spacer. And then there's the spring. Tight coils want to be at the bottom. Whoever had done this last time put them in upside down. Tight coils go at the bottom of the fork. So here we go. Forks in the vise. You don't want to squish it. You just want to prevent it from rotating because there's a nut or I guess a bolt at the bottom here that we'll have to undo. So there's the other adjuster I was talking about. Back that out all the way and then it's simply just undoing the nut in there.
Once you undo the nut, the rest of the internals will just slide out. Careful when doing so because there is a spacer at the bottom of said internals. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, here's the fork disassembled. So here's the internals I was talking about. It's all kind of one sealed. I wouldn't maybe not call it sealed. It's all one unit. As far as I know, they don't come apart. Um, this is the spacer that I was talking about. Mine did stay in the bike. So that's the orientation that it comes out of. You can kind of see machined on the inside on this end and not so much on this end. So the machined end slides onto here. Next, it'll be removing the dust seal, the clip, and then we can hammer slide out the oil seal. So dust seal just with a small flathead screwdriver. Carefully get it in there to pry it up. Or I guess down because these are inverted forks. Always throws me upside down because everything's upside down. Makes it confusing as I normally just do in conventional forks. And then dust seal off. Can you see? Nope. Dust seal off down inside. You can see that little clip. Remove the clip and then it's just a matter of Kind of pulling up on it, pulling down on the other side to pull them apart, pull the oil seal out. Oil seal out. Okay, pulled the outer tube off the inner tube, and as you see, it is how it comes out. So, just order of operation here from the bottom of the fork you've got dust seal, clip, oil seal, washer. The washer is beveled on the one side, you want the flat side against the seal, beveled side against. The bushing so you got outer bushing inner bushing there's little slits in them you can see here so just a matter of opening it up with a screwdriver your fingernails to pull it off we'll pull everything off clean it up real good with some brake cleaner parts cleaner carb cleaner whatever you want to use give it a good clean wipe down and then Reassembly is basically just the exact opposite order. I hope this was informative. If you like videos like this, please like and subscribe for more. I almost forgot. So when you do reinstall it, I'm not gonna walk you through it because like I said, it's just opposite of what we did. You'll need this extra piece of the fancy specialty tool that I talked about with the right adapter. This adapter threads on to the uh, top of the inner, the inners of the fork, this part here, it'll thread onto this, which will allow you to pull this up when it's all inside the fork and allow you to get the little stop clip underneath this jam nut in order to get the top cap threaded back on. Sounds confusing, but once you get there, it'll all make sense. This is the magic key, though, to making it all happen. Definitely way easier with two people. Um, with some ingenuity with uh, ratchet straps, though, you can do it on your own.